Alrighty, well, good morning everybody, and time once again for my pseudo cast. And um, this time around, I'm gonna play some uh, Still Mountains. They're, I'm guessing it's their self titled debut. And this is one that actually came out like yesterday. So, brand spanking new record right here. So, let me go ahead and get that fired up. And then, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have, I am gonna need to sound test this. bit loud so turn it down a little bit <sighs> okay um so uh kind of had a busy night last night and this morning um just uh i just started uh binge watching some um dragon ball i think from um from episodes uh 18 to 25 i want to say 25 or 26 but yeah, I just watched a whole bunch of them, um, cause it's um, uh, it's at, cause uh, it's uh, it was heading towards the uh, tournament arc, or not tournament arc, but it was heading towards the uh, martial arts tournament, so I was kind of wanting to watch it. So just kind of look, kind of looking forward to that. Um, I wasn't really expecting it to come out like this early, like on the very first season. I I didn't think that kind of thing would come out during like until like until like actual Dragon Ball Z. So, but, but yeah, um, and one thing about the tournament I totally and completely forgot. One thing I totally forgot about Dragon Ball in particular, or Dragon Ball in general. There is a whole lot of fucking around in there. There's like, there's like hardly any actual fighting. Oh, let me stop myself real quick. Um, I'm gonna crack open a can of V8 Energy Pomegranate Blueberry. So, get ready for some pops. But yeah, it was, um, but like I said, there was like, um, there was like a tall, it was, let me, let me rephrase that right. It was just, I mean, most, most of the fighting in there was actually very little of it. Like, like I said, most of it was just, most of it was just theatrics, facial expressions, and a lot of, uh, internal dialogue. It's just, what should my first attack be? What? I know, I know exactly what he's going to do. I see it coming. I read it like a book. You know, it, it, it's just like, you know, interior monologue. It, it's basically, I mean, it was all just a bunch of bullshit. I mean, I want to see some, I want to see some fighting. Like some actual fighting, not just, not, you know, not just fluff. So that, so, but yeah, that was probably one of the reasons why I hardly, uh, I probably didn't watch any of the, any Dragon Ball shows back in the day. I think I saw like little clips here and there and again it was all just it was all just grandstanding and you know the in, interior dialogue that kind of stuff you know like you know just like like what I say you know just you know basically all damn near anything but fighting so that soured me quick so the so the uh, the the rest of the episodes like when the tournament actually started it was a long slog. Oh god, it Yeah, it oh sheer test of endurance right there. So but uh one thing that did stick out was uh I think his name's Nam. Nam or Abu or something like that, but uh it's like oh I'm like oh my god, uh the I mean spitting image spitting image of Dalsum. You know, of a Street Fighter fame. I was, I mean, I was so totally hoping that uh, this guy here would, uh, he would start doing these like stretchy arm or long leg at attacks and that kind of thing. But no, he just, um, just did some normal punches and kicks, and then uh, he did like an aerial attack, or he, ba he was, he was basically like Kane the Dragoon from uh, Final Fantasy IV slash two. He like jumps up like way super high in the air. In fact, now that I think about it, this particular episode here just, it might have been the one that started it all as far for like Dragoon attacks, you know, Final Fantasy Dragoon attacks. This might have been the episode that started it all. 
where this guy here, he jumped like way super up in the air, and then comes, just comes crashing down on Goku. But yeah, it, but again, I was, I was, I was really hoping that this guy would just, you know, start doing these long limbed attacks like, you know, like Dalsim does in a Street Fighter. I was really hoping for that, but he didn't, so. But yeah, this was what, this was one of the high points of uh, my binge watching right here. Just the, uh, just the shaking of hands, just the shaking of hands after the tournament. I mean, as you probably expect, um, Dalsim, I mean, uh, Abu, or Nam, I think that's the name. I, I can't remember the exact name, but yeah, he, naturally he got his ass kicked. But yeah, the handshake afterwards. I mean, I think, I don't know, bet this is probably one of the, probably one of the things that sours a lot of people on fighting games. You know, because, um, and I've said this in one of my other casts, too. Um, it just, the, the focus is too much on winning. I mean, I get that if you're in a tournament, especially something like EVO, where there's a lot of money on the line. I mean, I kind of understand, you know, it's important to win because of what's at stake. But, you know, in damn near any other tournament or any other competition, I mean, this is, for the most part, what it's all about. I, I wish I had the um, I wish I had the quote with me, but I think a uh, legendary fighting game player Daigo, I think he said something like that. Really, all tournaments should be is just a, should be just a playground for those who want to get better. So, you know, it isn't, it's not about winning. I know um. When uh back when I was playing on uh, Magic the Gathering, um, there's like three player types. There's um. There's Johnny, there, there, there's Timmy, Johnny, and Spike. There are three player types, like, like Timmy. Timmy's the casual fun gamer. Um, he's, he, again, he's basic, oh, how, how did it go? He doesn't, he cares more about the, the quality of his wins rather than the quantity. I mean, you know, as long as he's, you know, as long as he's kicking her, as long as he really kicked your ass, he's happy. Um, I'm the Johnny player, and it, it, it got me pegged perfectly. I'm more of an expressionist. I'm more into, I'm, I'm more into deck building, or deck building is just as important, if not more so, than the actual play. So, as long as my deck does what it wants, as long as I can get my deck going, I'm pretty much happy. Wins don't ma matter to me much, and then Spike is the tournament player. He's he's the one that really does care about his wins. But anyway, I'm a I'm a Johnny player, so yeah, I'm kind of get I'm kind of getting off track here. But it but it, you know again it the same you know the same mentality I had in uh, Magic the Gathering I pretty much have in fighting games. All I really care about is, or you know, I'm more. I just want to get the combo off, or I just want to be able to, you know, I want to be able to, I want to be able to get my character to do what I want it to do. You know, so it's, it's less about the, you know, it's more about the quality of the wins, whatever few I get, then more, it is about the quantity, so. Um... But but yeah, um, there were some other uh, there were some other cool quotes in these episodes that I was watching. Um, trying to think. Um, but um, actually, um, a good chunk of the a good chunk of the cool quotes actually came from Master Roshi. Um, just uh. I forgot to I forgot to add the image to the slideshow, um, but uh, he's he actually this guy actually entered the tournament in disguise for the sole purpose of uh, kicking the shit out of Goku, cause uh, he didn't if um if uh, if Goku won this cause if Goku won this tournament and if he gets in his head that he is the best that he is the the best fighter ever he might actually lose motivation. You know, there's no, 
there's no there's no goal or there's no there's no longer a character for him to go after. You know, there's no longer a goal for him to for him to pursue. So that was but uh that was the sole reason why why uh, Master Roshi also joined this tournament in disguise. Is uh he he wanted to beat Goku. Cause he didn't wanna he didn't want Goku to lose motivation. He wanted him to keep improving. So So yeah, aside from the uh, aside 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 from the fact that he's a bit of a perv, um, as you and, you know, if you've ever watched any of the episodes with Roshi in it, uh, for the most part, he's always looking to he's always he's always trying to look up skirts and he's always trying to fondle chicks and all that. So yeah, um, but aside oh, and another thing. Another thing I know I saw during this during this tournament, um, they the winner gets like a hundred thousand zenny coin, or I think it's a a hundred thousand zenny. It's uh, I, I if I would have remember to, I would have actually added it instead of uh, instead of just the the coin icon. But uh, various Capcom arcade games in the eighties, uh, Black Tiger first comes to mind. But um, they uh, make fairly use of Zenny coins. I wonder if I wonder if the term Zenny was first coined in um in Dragon Ball in this tournament game. Because like I said, um, I think the winner gets like a hundred thousand Zenny Zenny cash or Zenny coins or something like that. But I wonder. If, but I wonder if um, I wonder if this here was like the first mention of uh, Zenny. So, but, um, but yeah, that was, whoops, that was, uh, definitely one takeaway from, uh, from all this binge watching I was doing. This might actually get me back into fighting games, although it's, it's not an automatic guarantee, because, um, if you've got, I mean, if you guys have ever seen my, uh, yesterday's cast, it was, I mean, the whole, most, that whole episode, I think, was pretty much about Strong Towns, the book I'm reading, you know, about city building, so, yeah, I'm still... I'm still way into playing City Skylines right now, despite its flaws. So, but yeah, this, this, um, this might have put a, I mean, just this moment alone might have put a, put fighting games less on the back burner. But like I, like I said, I'm still loving me some city building though as well, so. And now for this part, um, so uh, I'm still doing this the same way I've, I've been doing it, just um, making a whole bunch of uh, paint windows using MS Paint for all these images, and then uh, full screening all of them, and then using OBS, my uh, my uh, my streaming and recording software. It's kind of a switchboard. You know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, just using that as a switchboard. But um, but uh, yesterday, yesterday I tried looking for various other slideshow software. I found one, but even then, it wasn't it wasn't quite my ideal. And um, I actually did um. And um, yeah, I actually did try making a movie, but it it just wasn't working out. Especially for for what I'm using, uh, Windows Movie Maker. It's just the one I'm most familiar with. But um, I can't remember if I said this yesterday, but it's got a really it's got a really ass backwards way of recording. Like uh, I want to I want to record just the audio first. I just want to record me talking. Uh, but uh, the way Windows Movie Maker works is uh, it wants me to put up the movies and images first. And um, and and and, and uh, the fun the function in there is called record narration. 
So the implication is it wants me to lay down all the uh, image and movie tracks first, then the re uh, record the audio over it, whereas I want to do it the other way around. Um, but, but, um, kind of the problem is, is, uh, I also want to, I also want to, I'd want to do it the way I used to do it when I first started doing these pseudo casts, recording the audio with music in the background. But, um, it's very, uh, it's very tricky to work with. And I actually did try, I tried doing that. It just, again, it just wasn't working because uh, I think, uh, for the, uh, Mainly because I couldn't do uh, the longest segment of a movie that I could I could do was like 30 seconds. So I wanted to do I wanted to set up a a 15 to 20 minute segment of doing like an old school pseudo cast like I used to do, and then record the images and um, gifs and movies and whatnot over that. But again, uh, Windows Movie Maker wants me to do it do it the opposite way, so just made it very difficult to work with so but yeah I'm I'm gonna keep doing this actually to be honest um 90 I think 90% of all the images that I just showed on that I just showed on this slideshow uh, were just were conjured up at the spur of the moment um, I started this cast around 4 a.m. but I actually started Getting, putting all the images together around about an hour before then, around 3 a.m. So it was pretty much a rush job. So it would, it would be kind of nice to relax a little bit. Just kind of take my time and, you know, add these images. But I've done that before, and it, it just... I mean, for, for, I mean, for a day like today, I couldn't really do it because I'm too busy watching. You know, I'm too busy watching these episodes. I don't really have time to to get all these images together. So, but like I said, yeah, um, I'm gonna try to keep doing it like this. But if there's if there's days where I don't feel like doing a doing a slideshow at all and just going the old school route, just me. Going the old school route with just me and having what you're seeing here, the thumbnail for the music that I'm playing running in the background, don't be surprised. Because, like, I, like I've been saying, this is a lot of work trying to get it all set up like this. So, totally understandable why somebody like, like Emperor Lemon and I think another channel I took a look at called Blink. His videos are pretty intricate too, kind of like Emperor Lemon's. Um, totally understandable why uh, they'd only put videos out maybe once a month because for the quality of their videos that's pretty much about the amount of time that it would take to put one out like it would take them a freaking month so but alrighty well that's going to do it for me though Um, I said all the things I wanted to say and did all the things I wanted to do so, um, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Well, but, uh, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow's Tuesday. So, um, but until then, though, everybody, thanks again for coming around, everyone. And see you all next time. Bye for now.